This might be one of the smartest rings I've ever worn. Over the past few days, I've been testing the Ultra Human Ring Air, tracking everything from my sleep and recovery to heart rate and stress. In this Ultra Human Ring Air review, I'll walk you through what it's like to actually live with this smart ring. Spoiler, there's more to it than meets the eye. If you're already curious, we've got an exclusive Ultra Human Ring Air discount just for you. Just use our code at checkout to get an additional discount off your Ultra Human Ring Air. I've also dropped a link in the description down below to make it easy for you, or you can scan the QR code you see on screen right now. Before we get to the unboxing, I want to mention that I did not know my ring size at the time of ordering, and I didn't trust myself measuring my ring size using at-home methods. So I ordered the free ring sizing kit from Ultra Human, and this came really fast. And then here are the different mock ring sizes. These are made of plastic. I am a size nine with Ultra Human, so it fits me very, very well, but I could also fit a size 10. So it was really nice that I was able to see the ring size and the colors before committing to my purchase. All right, now let's get on with the Ultra Human Ring Air unboxing. Let's go ahead and get this top part off. Again, right from the get, feels like a very luxury product, especially the way that top lid slid off. And here is the ring itself. Wow, that feels incredibly lightweight. It feels like nothing. It genuinely does. It is so light and it's so surprising how technology these days can fit so much into something so small and so light. But the way that that feels on my finger right off the bat feels exactly how it did on the ring sizing kit with the mock rings. So this feels great. I'm gonna put this to the side for a second as we dive in. It's how to charge your Ultra Human Ring Air, getting started and a user manual. Next, oh, we got some stickers which is nice. I love putting stickers on my water bottle. I love when brands uh, include that. That's actually really, really cool. I appreciate that. Next, we have a little box that says get wired. I'm assuming in here is going to be the USB-C cable for charging. Really good length. This is folded three times over USB-C to USB-C on both ends. And that is going to be for this USB-C magnetic charger for the ring. So at the back here it says ultra human ring charging dock so here's a closer look at the ring again i got the space silver which is a really nice color and like i said this is extremely lightweight i'm surprised they were to pack so much technology into such a small and lightweight ring and uh, the material seems quite durable i've had some smart rings in the past and obviously regular rings I used to wear a lot and they would get scratched up do, during workouts and just day-to-day -day activities. This seems like it's gonna hold up over time quite well. Something else that I'm noticing is that uh, maybe with just this color and finish specifically, looks like it would get some smudges on it and fingerprints, but as I'm sort of putting my finger on it, it kind of disappears and goes away, the smudges after a while. It's like it sort of cleans itself in a weird way must be the material speaking of the material this is a fighter jet grade titanium with a tungsten carbide coating now this is really nice material for a ring which is why i say i think it's going to last and hold up over time very very well now if we take a look on the inside here the inner lining is made with a medical grade hypoallergenic epoxy resin now this is nice because it's going to make putting it on the finger very easy, very smooth. There's no sort of, you know, stickiness that goes along with it. And it's also protecting all the technology and sensors that they have going on on the inside of the ring. So the thickness is 2.45 to 2.8 millimeters. Again, depending on what size ring you get. But I will say right off the bat, very nice lightweight little thick little bulky right off the bat but um i mean that's something that is uh, just just i'm just being picky at that point that's something that you know for all the benefits and all the tracking that we should be getting that they claim to give us with this ring i don't mind wearing it at all it's very comfortable looks very very nice especially if you wear other accessories and last thing i want to mention about the ring which is very important for me is that it is water resistant up to a hundred meters which is insane. I am so impressed by that. Now, the reason that's important for me is because on the weekends, I bartend. And when I bartend, my hands are pretty much wet my entire shift. 
eight to 12 hours a night. So the fact that this is gonna be being dunked into sinks with hot water, soap, sanitizer water, and things like that, that's gonna be something that I'm really looking forward to, to seeing how it actually applies day to day, like how practical it actually is. Now to charge the ring, as I mentioned earlier, this is the very, very nice quality, very well built uh, USB-C magnetic charger. The ring slips on just like that. Very high quality USB-C cable. Plugs in right there. Other end plugs into a computer or an outlet box, and that's gonna charge. And they say that it takes roughly 180 minutes to charge the ring from dead to fully charged, and a full charge will last four to six days I guess, depending on usage, depending on movement. So first things first, we're gonna go ahead and download the Ultra Human app. Now that was the first step on the getting started guide was downloading the app. The second step is connecting the ring onto the USB-C magnetic charger, which I have already done because it says that you want the ring to be charging for at least 30 minutes before pairing it with the app. And there we go, Ultra Human Ring Air Space Silver Size 9. That is exactly what I have, so that's my ring. Let's hit start my journey. Now I have a prompt on screen that says, switch to chill mode for longer battery life. This extends battery life up to 35%. I am not gonna enable chill mode. I wanna get the full benefits and full metrics uh, for sake of review and for my own for my own knowing so I know what's going on with my body. Maybe I'll do that at a later time, weeks down the road, once I really get to know sort of the insights that this app and ring are giving me about my body. Now, it officially looks like we're in the app after the complete setup and information process. As you can see at the top, we have a little robot scratching his head saying no data. It says, please wear your ultra human ring continuously to get the most accurate insights. Very easy, very intuitive so far. Let's wear this for a few days and I'll get back to you with how things are really going. Okay, so it's been a little over a weekend with the Ultra Human Ring Air and I have some thoughts and experiences that I wanna share with you guys. The first category I wanna go over is comfort. I wanna talk about how the ring felt during normal daytime use and regular daytime activities and sort of things that I do in my routine that you might do as well. So in all honesty, it's incredibly comfortable and you can barely tell it's there most of the time. Like I, I can't even think of a time where I was like, oh yeah, the ring is on, like uh, let me, you know, or felt it or anything like that. And if you're not used to wearing rings, then obviously that'll take some getting used to, but otherwise it's very easy to get, uh, to get situated with. As soon as it's on, a few minutes later, you forget it's even there. And another area where I was wearing this ring was during my workouts. Uh, whether it was lifting a barbell, a dumbbell, using a machine, a Smith machine, a pull down bar, anything like that, it did not get in the way. It didn't pinch me. Honestly, it didn't even pop into my head. I didn't even know that I was wearing it. It's very comfortable during workouts. And after a few days of working out and uh, grabbing some metal bars, there are no scratches on it either, which is really, really nice. So this ring is quite durable. Also hitting some cardio and getting a bit of a sweat going, the ring stayed on safe and secure. It didn't slip off, it didn't budge. Uh, my size nine ring fits me perfectly, so there was no issues there. Same goes while I was sleeping in my bed for the last few nights. You can't even tell it's there. So it didn't get in the way of my workouts, it didn't get in the way of my hands-on job where I'm dealing with so many different tools, and it didn't have any issues when being exposed to water, moisture, or being dunked into a sink. And not only did it not slip off, but there was also no disconnect in this and the app, meaning there was no gaps in data. So that surprised me a lot, and I'm very, very happy with those results. The next category I wanna share with you are the data insights on the Ultra Human app. Because what's a comfortable smart ring if it's not giving us good data, accurate data, or data that's easy to read, track, and monitor over time? That is the main point. That is the bread and butter of a ring or a piece of tech like this. So I'm gonna share my screen with you guys and we're gonna go ahead and open up the Ultra Human app. And this is the home screen. I'm gonna go over it very briefly, my experience with it, and a couple key metrics that I find really interesting and that I have been paying attention to over the last few days. Now, the first one, sleep monitoring. 
Now, as you can see, if I scroll down just a little bit on the home screen here, my sleep is in the red zone. I got a 58 on my sleep score. As you can see, it says I went to bed at 2.09 in the morning and woke up at 10.34 a.m. I got five hours and five minutes of sleep duration and I got three full sleep cycles. But there's more to this. I did not wake up at 10.34 this morning. Let me go ahead and click into the sleep section and we're gonna get a better view here. If we scroll down a little bit, these are all the contributors to the sleep index score. Sleep efficiency, my temperature, restfulness, total sleep, heart rate drop, timing, and restoration time. Now here's what's interesting though, is it says total time in bed, eight hours, 25 minutes. I actually woke up at six something in the morning, took my kid to school, had breakfast, did all that, came back home, and then took about a two hour nap. So if I go back, and if we look at this white and gray line in the sleep section, there's a circle that says 2.09 a.m. And you can see the white thicker lines is when I was asleep. And then there's this big gap. And then at the end, there's more thick white lines, which indicate sleep. That was my actual nighttime sleep. And then the little nap I had later in the morning. If you scroll down here, we have timestamps at the bottom. It says 2.09 a.m. You can see I have, I was awake, light sleep, deep sleep. It's so cool that it gives you all these stages of sleep that you were in. And if we scroll down a bit, we can also see my heart rate throughout the entire night. We scroll down further, my heart rate variability, which I'm really interested in. And then we also have uh, just some more information uh, towards the bottom here, such as temperature and oxygen saturation and how many times I toss and turn during my sleep. So one thing I've noticed with the Ultra Human app that I genuinely enjoy is that they are very direct when it comes to telling you that something you are doing is negatively impacting your health. Because sometimes we fall into routines and habits where we know we're not doing something that's optimal or best for our bodies or our minds, yet we still do it anyway. But when we have an app that is showing us, here's literally how your body is doing negatively, and these are gonna be the potential repercussions of it, such as cognitive decline, uh, more rapid aging, things like that, you go, oh my God, I should, really try and fix some things. And then you can go in here and it'll tell you how to fix those things. Now, back on the homepage here, another metric I wanna share with you guys is the dynamic recovery. And one thing I wanna note really quick is with the app, even as someone as tech savvy and who is interested in health and wellness like myself, there is some terminology in here that I simply do not understand. So there is a bit of a learning curve for the app, even for someone like me. However, on the plus side, they make it easy to understand and get to know the app if you take the time to tap around and play with it. So going back to my dynamic recovery score, what does that mean? Let's go ahead and click on that. As you can see, there is a little information icon on the top right corner. If I tap that, it says recovery score. The recovery score indicates your overall state of well-being. It depends on markers like resting heart rate, HRV, temperature, sleep quality, movement, and recovery. So basically it's sort of like a score to tell you how much you are ready to take on for the day based off of your sleep, your temperature, your heart rate variability, and all these different things. And you scroll down and it's giving you all that information. And as you can see, most things are in the green for me, today at least, right? The only thing that's red is my sleep index, which we just talked about. I obviously got very bad sleep last night. And my resting heart rate says elevated, but within range. If I click on resting heart rate, it's gonna show me a little bit more information there. And it's gonna give me tips on how to improve resting heart rate, which is really cool. So this app definitely is dedicated to not just giving you data, but it's dedicated to helping you understand the data track and monitor it and then learn to improve it which means you're going to be improving yourself your health and your life overall so those were two of the bigger metrics that i really enjoy looking at every day and actually take into account and there are some behavioral changes that i am taking and implementing moving forward because of this app for example right at the top i found this so interesting they have what's called your caffeine window and if you can see right now it's about 13 11 or 1 11 pm and i am in this green zone between 12 29 and 259 where i'm in a caffeine permissible window it says consuming caffeine in moderation now 
can enhance mental clarity, elevate mood, and boost productivity. And then after this, there is a red zone where it's telling me that I should not have caffeine after 2.59 or 3 p.m. in the afternoon because that could then start disrupting my sleep or keep me up later in the evening when my body should be starting to wind down. And that yellow zone to the left of the graph is the first maybe 60 minutes to a couple hours after waking up when you can have caffeine, it's probably okay. That's why it's in the yellow zone, but you probably shouldn't. Look how many information icons there are. There's one at the top for caffeine permissible window. There's one for the graph, and then there's one for caffeinated beverages. And again, there's other things on the homepage here that I'm not gonna get as in depth on, such as movement, you know, to tell you how many steps that you've taken throughout the day, total calories, uh, activity time. Uh, it gives me information on my circadian rhythm and when I should be exposing myself to bright light exposure or exercise or food in order to optimize my circadian rhythm, which again is super important. And as you can see, there are some areas that are blank, such as cardio age. So the ring does recommend wearing this for 15 days straight to fully calibrate and get to know your body and the data will get more accurate as you go. So this is just after a few days of wearing it and it's already giving me very practical, useful information. Now, on the Ultra Human app, if you go to the top right corner, you see there's a couple circles. You tap that and that's gonna give you information on your ring. And it says I am in chill mode active, which is sort of a power saving mode. What's interesting is that when I first set up the app and I, when I did it with you guys, I did not want chill mode on. I opted to have that off. I don't know if I accidentally turned it on in the app or if it automatically turned it on to save battery for whatever reason, but I do not want chill mode on. I want turbo mode activated because at least for the first few weeks, I want the most data possible. It has been about three days. I'm going into my fourth day of wearing the Ultra Human Ring Air, and you can see that the battery is at 60%. And when I put this on a few days ago, it was at 100%. I let it charge fully before wearing it. And based off of this current data, going off 10% per day with chill mode on sometimes and me turning it off now, I expect after maybe seven days, I will then have to charge this ring again. So overall, Battery performance seems to be spot on, about 10% per day with my current usage. Again, this is a piece of tech and it's a brand new piece of tech. So of course the battery is going to be at its optimal sort of performance right now. And over time, any battery is going to diminish with you know constant use. So I'm curious to see how long that battery life performance is going to last. But as of right now, very impressed. Now, while the Ultra Human Ring Air impressed me in a lot of ways, it's not perfect. One thing to know is that the AFib detection isn't built in. You'll need to purchase an extra add-on called the Power Plug to enable that feature, which might feel like an upsell if you're expecting complete heart monitoring right out of the box. Also, the app itself is packed with data, which is great once you're familiar with it, but for first-time users, it can definitely feel like a lot to take in. And lastly, ring sizing is only available in whole sizes. So if you fall between two sizes, even with the free ring sizing kit, finding the ideal fit could be tricky. That said, it stayed secure for me through it all. So if you're thinking about getting one, we've got an exclusive deal just for our Health News viewers. Use the exclusive discount code that you'll find in the video description down below, or you may scan the QR code you see on screen. Honestly, for the value, the comfort, and the science behind it, it's definitely worth a try. If you're someone who wants to improve your health through consistent, long-term tracking without wearing a bulky smartwatch 24-7, like me, the Ultra Human Ring Air is a smart choice. It's sleek, packed with meaningful health insights, and best of all, which I my favorite thing is that it's a one-time purchase. No subscriptions, no hidden fees. For me personally, that alone makes it a standout from all the other wearables. And there we have it, folks. Now remember, our channel's library is unlimited, so be sure to watch other health news videos on various health tech-related topics. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.